Hey Cancer, we are going to find out what's coming in for you, okay, um, in love. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay? Twin flames fell out as I was shuffling before your reading, and now twin flames are falling out again. And then you have separation. So some of you guys are separated from your twin flame, okay? Or some of you guys... Um, if you guys are in other connections, that could also be something that's falling apart. You have you deserve love, okay? Um, you are lovable, so, and then you have attraction. So I feel like there's a lot of, you know, chemistry fell between the both of you. I feel like there's a very strong love between the both of you, okay? Um, I'm going to clarify you deserve love with the Queen of Pentacles, and the seven of swords. Some of you guys maybe told, maybe have, oh my God, I can't talk. For some of you guys, people could have told you that maybe you weren't worth anything or you're not beautiful. You're not, you know, um, up to their standards. Like you could have um, had somebody that with the seven of swords really put you down. This could be family as well. This could be like your parents growing up or people in school, whatever this is, this could have like, you know, really killed your confidence. But with the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like Spirit wants you to realize your beauty, realize, you know, how beautiful you are and how much you have to offer in this world and don't hide yourself, okay? Don't hide yourself. You are lovable. Maybe you just haven't found the right one or maybe you just haven't, you know, maybe you had a lot of lessons that you had to go through, right? Um, but I do feel like um, things are about to get better, right? So let's see. What's going on with your twin flame? Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. And the High Priestess. It's like this person may know that you guys are twin flames. They may know that you guys um, have like this soul connection. I do feel like right now they are, um, it's like you are everything that they've wished for you. You know, if, if somebody asked them who would they want to spend the rest of their life with, I feel like they'd say your name. You know, I do feel like you guys have such a very strong bond with the seven of pentacles. You guys could have known this person for a very long time. And with the high priest, it's like you guys um, and the ten of pentacles. It's like you guys know that this is like your forever person. You guys know deep down that because not every twin flame gets together in every lifetime. But I feel like you guys feel like this is your person and it could actually happen, right? So let's see the challenge. The Four of Wands. Okay, so yeah, the Four of Wands is 11-11, right? New doors opening. So maybe um, the door just hasn't opened up for you guys yet, right? Um, some of you guys could have been blocked. There could be a lot of stagnation. The Seven of Wands, yeah, somebody could have been blocked, Okay. But remember, everything happens for a reason. So um, Twin Flames, you're supposed to learn, you know, a lot of things about yourself. And, you know, you come back together and then maybe you might go your separate ways again and have some more things to fix about yourself. And then, you know, when you guys are finally like at the point to where it's like you guys done all the work, that's when you guys are able to come back together as long as there's like no outside interferences, because that's usually kind of also another thing that holds us back but i do feel like this is something that's going to move forward okay so i'm going to see i'm going to put these cards back so what's going on with your twin flame the ten of pentacles the three of cups this person i feel like they're building their confidence here feeling more happier feeling more in their power okay the Knight of Wands is their challenge, okay? The Temperance is in the past, okay? That's about change, adaptation. The Three of Wands in the future, which means I feel like this person's turning their back towards the past and just straight up looking towards the future. The Ace of Pentacles as well for the future. So I do feel like this person's, you know, they made a decision here and they're happy with this decision. And I feel like they're, they're ready to kind of offer you this new beginning, this stable new beginning, okay? The temperance card tells me in the past that there could have been a lot of change, okay, that needed to happen, a lot of healing that needed to happen, okay, this frog is like halfway in the water, okay, so, you know, frogs, their tadpoles, right, at the beginning, so this person could have made a major change, like, they're not even the same person that they were in the past, this person's done a lot of growth, 
they're more stable, they're more reliable now, they're more happy, they're more, um, you know, self, how do you want to call that confident within themselves? So they're not going to be somebody that's like up your ass about like all the changes that you need to make. It's like, I feel like this person is more of like a teamwork person, more of like a, um, somebody that puts the work in and, you know, I feel like they're also somebody who also can take accountability for their own actions. How does this person view you? Holy helicopters. Too many things. Too many cards. David, oh, you got the strength card, the two of cups, the hangman, and the ten of swords in reverse, though. So I feel like this person feels like this is not over. All right. I do feel like they feel like you've been hurt a lot in the past. So maybe they know like some things you've been through. The two of cups is compatibility, it's harmony, it's you know, friendship, equal love. So you guys both feel the same about each other, even if you don't know it. I feel like it's equal. It's shared equal love. And with the strength card, they see you as, you know, maybe you guys may have thought that this was something that wasn't going to work out. You got the mouse and the snake, like an odd pair, right? So maybe you guys thought this was something like you're too different or maybe maybe your backgrounds are different. Maybe you guys, one's like Jewish and the other one's Christian or maybe one lives in freaking you know, uh, California and the other one lives in Hawaii, whatever, right? I do feel like there's a distance or there's some type of difference here, but I feel like the love that you guys share between the both of you is like, you know, it's just, it doesn't die. And with the hangman, I do feel like this person sees you as somebody who's, you know, different than the rest. They may have also known that you've been through a lot of hell. So you may have told this person some stories or maybe you were with this person in the past and it's like, they know what you've been through. I feel like this person wants to like scoop you up and take care of you and like put all your worries to rest, you know, and you have, you deserve love. So it's like, I feel like this person feels like you guys haven't had the love that you needed. And I feel like they are the ones that want to give it to you. The Knight of wands is their challenge tells me they're a little bit back and forth. So I am going to clarify that with this other deck here. What are they back and forth about? The page of pentacles. The emperor, if they should stand up and do something about it, okay? There, maybe one of you guys are already like, um, maybe you guys are in another connection. It's like with the seven of pentacles, you know, clarifying the knight of wands. I feel like this person wants to make sure with, you got the emperor, page of pentacles, seven of pentacles, all about stability. Maybe this person doesn't think that they have enough to offer you. Maybe, maybe just not yet. Maybe they feel like they got to get their money right. Or maybe they might need to like get a house first or get a car first. Or, you know, um, I, maybe I feel like they want to come back, like not really showing off to you, but kind of showing off to you at the same time. I hope you know what I mean. It's like, I feel like they want to show you that they've made a lot of change. They're more reliable, you know, but maybe they're just not there yet. So we will find out the timing. For this as well but i do feel like this person it's like they're a little bit unsure because i feel like this person puts you so high up there that they feel like you deserve the best and maybe they just feel like they're not the best but i do feel like they feel like they want a chance with you so timing the king of cups not really a timing card the strength card that's leo you got leo twice here you got sagittarius there was aries earlier I'm just seeing if I see any more Pisces. Yeah, strong Leo, Pisces, Aries. And I'm going to do another timing card. King of Wands. You got two kings and the strength card. This person wants to come in and protect you. This is somebody who can be like your best friend. This is somebody who can, you know, stay up all night and have, you know, you know, talk on the phone all night together. You know, this is somebody who can share your your life issues with you have the two of cups twice as well too this is somebody you can share you know conversations with this is somebody that you're very compatible with okay and obviously the twin flames it's like you guys are the same soul right so you guys may have a lot of the things that you guys do or want in the future that that matches up I do feel like you guys are like best friends or or could have been best friends I feel like there's such a very strong bond here I don't see any negative things here. So, you know, maybe I don't know if I feel like there's nothing that's happened in the past. That's really anything bad. The star. Yeah. Healing. So 
And if it is, if there's anything that happened in the past, I feel like that's long gone and forgotten about, no longer an issue. So I want to see, you have the justice card. Things have balanced out, okay? Things have changed. How does this person view themselves? You have the star, healing, healed. I feel like they're getting their shit together. More things are starting to fall into place for them. So I feel like they're starting to feel a lot just, you know, in their power. I feel like their light is shining more. They're feeling more confident. The judgment card. They got two major arcanas for how they feel about themselves. And the lovers. Wow. So I feel like this person is ready to like open their heart. This person has a huge heart. This person loves to love. I just feel like they just don't like to get hurt, right? With anybody. That, that makes sense for everybody. So what is the advice? The Ten of Wands and the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Standing in your power, okay? Um, the Ten of Cups, this is about just kind of letting things, like going with the flow. This is happily ever after. And the Ten of Wands, this is like fighting against the tide, right? You see how the salmon's trying to swim up, up the current or whatever? And then you have the Ten of Cups. It's like, don't fight the tide. Don't fight the current. Go with the flow instead. You know, stand your ground, um, set rules, whatever, boundaries. But I feel like going with the flow will be the best thing for you. Um, with two tens too as well, there may be an ending that needs to happen. This could be blame. This could be being too hard on yourself. This could be another situation that somebody's in. The two of swords. Yeah, there's a decision that you need to make here, okay, um, for the guidance. Let's see the outcome. The high priestess. It's like you guys may have already dreamed of how things are going to be. You guys may already know. Like I said, I feel like you guys already know you're supposed to be together. Like in this lifetime, you know, the nine of pentacles and the justice card again. And the chariot. You got three major arcanas and the nine of pentacles. This is something that's going to move forward in um, the best way possible for you. Things will balance out, okay? Whatever way it is that you think in your mind, I feel like is that's exactly how it's going to go. And with the nine of pentacles, this is going to be something that you guys can build together. You guys will be able to trust each other. You know, you guys will be able to grow together. A very, very strong bond between the both of you. A bond that can't be broken. Then you have baptism. This is like being born again. Or, you know, the, the relationship being born again. Starting all over. It says you are walking through fire and are coming out on the other side clean. The immense challenge that you're overcoming has earned you a victory through the rite of passage. You are brave and forever will be changed. This is a defining moment, a life or death moment that may have reshaped you. Like the phoenix, you're made anew. And then you have interference. So distractions may be taking your attention away from important things. Don't give your time to things that are not serving your highest good. Drama may be swirling around you. Well, it's my space. Say no to people who don't heed your advice and only want to complain. Get enough rest, meditate, stay focused, tighten your schedule, cut loose the bad habits. And I did see the lust card fall out. Okay, so some of you guys may be um, in another connection or out there like um, dating or something. Make sure that you guys are, you know, not going. Just go follow your heart. Okay, follow where your heart leads you. I do feel like this person's going to be reaching out to you, though, you know, it's like, um, I feel like you guys compliment each other. I feel like, you know, what you don't have, they have, and what they don't have, you have. And it's like, you guys make like a perfect team together, right? So I do feel like spirit is going to be sending in this person for you. You have investment and abundance. This is somebody, your twin flame, I feel like they, they know this is something that's worth investing because there's so much abundance to come through, right? So many good things can happen. Between, you know, I feel like you guys are a power couple. Union. See, like I'm telling you, an investment again, okay? It says the time has come to break through your barriers of fear so that a deeper union can be experienced with others around you. <clears throat> Allow yourself to be open, vulnerable, and available for new experiences of intimacy, unions with love, friendship, and spiritual guides are coming. Let go of trauma bonds, welcome in healthy new love. So if you guys are still with somebody or in another connection, it's not really good for you. I feel like Spirit wants you guys to let go of what doesn't serve you this way. You can open that new door because I feel like that door is about to be opening up pretty soon for you. And then you're going to have a choice to make. 
you know, make sure that you're not making any decisions to your hundred percent, you know, sure of what it is that you want to do. But if you guys, like I said, if you guys are feeling stuck in a certain situation, maybe now is the time to think and kind of prepare yourself for what's coming in the future. Cause I do feel like this person's coming in. Okay. Pretty soon. So that's what I got for you guys. If it resonates, please like and subscribe and have a great day. See ya.